that um john legend and janae aiko song oh my god it's so oh it's just so beautiful anyway i just want to come on here and give some channel updates life updates makeup routine type of updates so i pretty much still use the same makeup i just use less of it and i apply it very different than i usually do so we're gonna go over that and then also there is a huge women's day sale coming up you guys and i i just want to tell you about it so let me get this foundation on my face i still use the estee lauder double wear in rich cocoa i absolutely love this most foundations like just does not agree with my skin so i just do like a small little dot on my hand and i go right in with my fingers And the last little bit, I kind of like just swoop on my forehead and under my chin. This way, I'm wasting less product. I feel like I have more control over the product. And when I'm done, it looks like skin and it doesn't look as cakey. Because for some reason, it was starting to look so cakey the way I was doing my makeup. I don't know. I just, I stopped enjoying the way I was doing my makeup. So I started just doing it this way. And my mom would say, your skin looks so clear. What did you do? And I'm like, I have makeup on. I don't know. I just really like doing it this way as of late. As far as my concealer, I do it the same way right in the corners there this stuff is so pigmented so i take my pinky to pull some of the excess off and then i take the finger next to that to pat in what's left because i just want to brighten up that area i'm not trying to you know wear a mask <laughs> walking around the streets all day and then if I need any extra, I have some on my pinky to just go in. And I am still homeschooling. First off, okay, today is a snow day. I don't know how you cancel virtual school because of snow. I, it's beyond me. I have gained so much more patience for myself and my child and I'm learning so much more that I have just given into the process of homeschooling. I did receive a call to go back to corporate and I rejected that. <laughs> I said no, I don't want to do that only because schools are not fully back in yet. And I don't wanna make that type of commitment because when I'm working on something, I'm truly working on that thing. And right now my child needs 100% of me. So homeschool is, you know, taking the cake right now. That's life. And I am enjoying it actually. So as far as some channel updates, I have decided to no longer do vlogs on this channel. This is a beauty channel, not a vlogging channel, not a family vlog channel. So while I find it very, very fun to incorporate them, that's not what this channel is about. So to set my makeup, I am still using Laura Mercier's translucent powder. I love this powder. It sets like As far as my eyeliner, I'm still using NYX in linen. It's like a little soft pink color. I'm still using that in my waterline.
Anyway, back around Christmas time, I received a Teddy Blake handbag. I loved my handbag. It's so cute. It's just what the doctor ordered around this time of homeschooling and just running around like mad. To have such a sturdy bag that can withstand everything that I do to it. Like I love it and I want to treat it well. My Black Bella Croc bag. It's large enough to put everything that I would need in it anything that my daughter sneaks in the bag, and then, you know, some snacks. I just wanted to let you guys know, they are actually having a 70% off for Women's Day. I mean, I've done so much to this handbag and it still looks brand new. It has carried me. If you want to have a premium Italian leather bag, this is the time to do it because they're having such a huge women's day sale you're getting 70 percent off i mean you're welcome <laughs> what more can you ask for like all i'm trying to say you guys is this bag is super durable and totally worth the money. I would suggest it to anyone. So if you do have an interest in it, I did put a link in the description box down below. They have a super wide range of bags to choose from. Go check out the Teddy Blake bags. So with this, I'm just putting the tiniest bit of powder in the areas that I tend to get oily, which is definitely my forehead and sometimes my cheeks under my cheek because my gloss seems to get there all the time i'm not sure why but i just put this on to kind of set that foundation and that is it that's it if you follow my channel you know that i don't care about my eyebrows um that much and actually what i've been doing is trying to grow them in because I think when I do like my peel off face mask, I end up peeling off part of my eyebrows. So this eyebrow struggles more than this one. So I've been letting them just grow in. And then once they are fully grown in matching each other, I'm then gonna, you know, get them shaped. When I took my sew-in out to, you know, give my hair a good shampoo and a deep condition and then to put it back in, um, during that time, my hair, my hair seemed a bit drier. It seemed to be breaking. I couldn't figure out why my hair felt off. And then after I put my sew-in back in, I went to my book where I did my planning for my hair and this is what I found you guys. So week 11, I don't know if you guys can see that. I was supposed to do an Olaplex treatment. Well, I didn't. I took my hair down, I shampooed, deep conditioned, and kept it pushing. Oh, I missed my Olaplex treatment, that's why. So to me, Writing it out and keeping a planner for my hair just kind of helps me stay on track. And it's, it allows me to go back and check and see, you know, why my hair feels off. What did I do differently? When I take this down for my first wash day, that is what I'm gonna be doing. It's gonna be my Olaplex treatment. And then the following wash day, I'm going to do
interest in the Teddy Blake handbags, I definitely want you to take advantage of the 70% off Women's Day sale. So I'll have that in the description box for you as well. And until the next time, you guys, be love.